What up folks, it's Alex here and I'm back with another 5 Minute Friday. In my previous video we had a look at power bins. In this video we're going to have a look at smart bins. So what are smart bins? Well, the manual describes them as procedurally populated bins. What that actually means is that bins that you can populate automatically using rules and filters. So as a quick example, let's say you've got a bunch of clips all at different frame rates, you can set up a smart bin which only contains clips that are filmed at 24 frames per second. And you can have another one which is 60 frames per second. And it just makes it nice and easy to categorize the clips into nice, neat bins so you know exactly where you're going when you're editing your videos. Right, enough waffle. Let's open up Resolve and we'll have a look. So here we are in Resolve and we're on the media tab. Now, in the lower half of the screen where you've got your media pool and your master bin, you should hopefully see smart bins. If you don't, all you've got to do is click on view and then pop a tick next to show smart bins. Now, before we actually look at the smart bins, the first thing you should do is add the clips to your project as you usually would. Now, these clips were shot on different devices. We've got a drone here, we've got a GoPro, and then we've got my cameras, and they're also shot at different frame rates. So I want to separate my real-time footage, i.e. that footage shot at 24 frames per second, with my higher frame rate slow motion footage. In your smart bin area, right click, and you want to add a smart bin. Now this first one is going to be for our 24 frames per second footage. So I'm going to call it 24 FPS. So the first thing to select is this here. You've got media pool properties and you've got a bunch of different metadata option to choose from. Now most of the time, if like me, you just do this sort of for YouTube, you're not using professional level cameras, a lot of the metadata won't actually be included. So it's easiest just to leave it as a media pool properties. The next thing is what are we looking at? What are we trying to filter on? So you could do file name, clip name, ins and outs, frames, etc. We're going to scroll down and we're going to try and find frame rate. Give that a click. Now we've got the media pool properties, the frame rate is, and then we've got this option here to select different frame rates. So I know my real time footage, my 24 FPS, is actually 23.976. So we're going to select that and then click create smart bin. And there we go, 24 frames per second. And these two clips here were both filmed at 23.976. If I go back to my master bin, everything else is still in there. But if I check these files, that one was at 60 FPS, that one was at 30. So it's just separated them out. So it's nice and easy to find these 24 FPS clips. Now, if we also want a smart bin for the opposite, so for everything that isn't 24 frames per second, we can just repeat the process. So I'm going to right click, I'm going to add a smart bin. I'm going to call this not 24 FPS. I'm going to leave it as media pool properties. I'm going to select frame rate. I'm going to put is to is not this time, and then select 23.976 and create smart bin. So I've got all my slow-mo footage in this not 24 FPS, and then in my 24 FPS, this is all my real-time footage. And you can repeat this process as many times as you like to create as many smart bins as you like. Let's add some more clips to my project. Now, let's say I want a smart bin just for my drone footage. If I look, I can see all my drone footage starts with DJI. So I can create a smart bin for that. So I'm gonna to go to my smart bins, I'm going to right click, I'm going to add a smart bin. This one is drone footage. Again, I'm going to leave it as media pool properties. Now this time I can leave file name as it is. And then I could leave it as contains or I could change this to begins with. I'll just leave it as contains for now. And I just want it to contain D, J, I. And then I can create that smart bin. And there we go. We've got drone footage and there's all my DJI drone footage. Now, let's say we want to take this another step further. We can create a smart bin with multiple filters. So let's repeat the process one last time. I'm going to right click, add a smart bin. This is going to be drone at 24 FPS. I'm going to leave my file name, contains D, 
DJI. But this I'm going to hit plus. I'm going to change file name to frame rate. And I put the frame rate to 23.976. And then create the smart bin. Give myself some more room here. So all my clips in my project, that are 24 frames per second, regardless of what they were shot on in this smart bin. Everything that wasn't 24 frames per second is in this one. All the drone footage is in this one. And all the drone footage at 24 frames per second is in this one. And you can just add as many of these as you like to separate and categorize your footage to make editing much easier. Now really quickly before I go, if I just go to add a smart bin, and I'm going to go to things like shot and scene. All of these, if you're just using a digital SLR or a mirrorless or a compact camera, they won't be populated. This is metadata you actually have to go and populate yourself. If you want to do that and you want to be able to filter on things like this, all you need to do, let me cancel this, in your master bin, click on your clip, whatever it may be, and then over on the right hand side you've got metadata, where you can see things like your frames per second, your resolution. Now, at the, just above there, there's this icon, and you can select from the different categories of metadata. If we go to Shot and Scene, you get these options here. So you can give this clip a description, and you can add some comments and some keywords and some colors and shots and scenes and angles and days and nights. You can say, yes, this is a good take. Whatever you need to do, you can populate all this metadata. Once you've populated the metadata, you can then go add a smart bin. This time I'm going to select shot and scene. I'm going to select my category, whatever it is I want to filter on. Let's just say I want this good take because I've just ticked that box. It's true. Create a smart bin. And there's that one clip which has the metadata good take tick box ticked. Loads and loads of options for this. So. Give them a go. And that's it, done. That's Smart Bins. Hopefully that was useful. If it was, thumbs up. If you've got any feedback, comment below. And as always, please do subscribe to the channel. For those regulars that tune in every week, I, I apologize again for missing last week. I was, I was away doing some bits and bobs, so I couldn't get around to doing it. And I'm actually off to Iceland at the weekend. I'm gonna try my best to pre-record something for next Friday as well, so I've got something to come out. But if I don't get around to that, I apologize. I'll do it as soon as I can. Also, I'm just about to hit 600 subscribers, which is amazing. I didn't think I'd get that many that quickly. So thank you all very, very much. So yeah, that's it. That's another 5-Minute Friday. Have a good and all. Take care. Bye.